Up until now, if you wanted to add custom icons to your website, you would have to upload them using an image and then you would have to install an SVG plugin if you wanted it to be uh, scalable. And there's just a lot of steps to do in order to get your custom icons to show on your site. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to add custom icons to your site uh, using a simple plugin. So once you've got the plugin installed for the custom icons for Elementor, you're going to notice a new menu underneath of Elementor. You can go to custom icons. From here, you're going to have a little bit of instructions and the rest of where you're going to actually upload all of your icons and then you're going to be able to see all of your uploaded fonts and your icons down here. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's delete this for now. So from here uh, we can go ahead and upload any Fontello zip file and I'll show you guys how to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to navigate to Fontello.com and once you're there you're going to come across some of the font awesome icons here, some uh, other third party ones and typo uh, type icons. There's a bunch of them that you can choose from right here that are not the standard included with Elementor icons. So you have all of these here and even some great weather ones right here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do this and we're going to go ahead and click on some of these icons just by clicking on them here. So now that we've got seven icons selected Let's go ahead and download this so we can upload it to the plugin. We're going to click on this big red button that says download web font. But before we do so, we're going to actually name the font set up here. So this is our weather icons. So I'm going to name this weather icons. All right. So from there, we're going to go ahead and click download web font. Once we click that, it's going to go ahead and go into our downloads folder. We're going to go ahead back to this page and we're just going to click and drag this right into this uploader. From there, we're going to notice that we have our uploaded fonts right here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And we have all of our icons right here that we can go ahead and show on any part of our site. Let's go ahead and see how to manage any of these icons. So from here, we have our Elementor page builder. I'm going to go ahead and add an icon widget to the site. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of padding just to make it look a little bit better we're going to go ahead and we have this icon here so right now we have the custom fonts uh, we have the standard fonts that elementor includes with font awesome and if we go ahead and we scroll we notice that we have some of the fonts that we just included right here for the new icons so let's say we wanted the snow one we can go ahead and include that if we wanted the snow heavy we have that as well so we have a bunch of different icons that we just uploaded to our site and they're right here at the top of our selector. Let's go ahead and style this up a bit. Let's go to the style and we can change the size of the icon just by dragging this. And then we can also change the color of the icon as well. So if we want this to be more of a gray, we can do a gray and then we can also do other colors everything is just completely customizable like you have with your regular elementor icons right here so we can go ahead and change that and everything will take its place let's go ahead and we're going to go back and i'm going to show you how to add other icons to this uh custom icons plugin using another source so fontella is great and they have a lot of pre-selected icons that you could choose from but if you design your own or if you have another service that provides icons to you, you're going to want to use that. So I am a big fan of flat icon and you can see that I've got a couple over here that I've been working with. So let's go ahead and show you how to use this. Now what we're going to do, let's just search for an icon. Let's just search for a bike because I want to, I want to put a bike in there. So we have a lot of different options for bike. Let's go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and add these to our selector all we have to do is just add those and then once we get these all ready we don't have to worry about changing the colors or anything like that because Elementor will go ahead and do that for us so we want to download the collection using this big green button and of course we want the SVG so we just click download and then we go ahead and click the free download and once that's downloaded you're going to have a folder with all of your SVG icons in it right here so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go back to the custom Fontello. And from here, we're going to just click and drag all of these icons right into this gray bar section. 
All right, so now we've got all of our icons here. We can go ahead and select them. Be sure that you select them. And then you go ahead and change your name. You don't want to have two of the same name icon sets because it'll get confusing on the back end for Elementor and you'll have a few issues there. So make sure you always put a unique name right here. And if you're not familiar with uh, icons, you can actually edit them right here. So if you click on the edit pencil icon, you can actually change what the name of this is going to be. And the name of this is going to show up on the Elementor when you're searching for it. So be sure to, if you want to, you can add a different name, or if you don't care, you can just go ahead and keep this name right here. I'm gonna just keep it for right now. So we have these icons right here. I'm going to actually clear all the icons and do this one more time. Go ahead, because we have the old icons set up right here. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. All right. Let's go ahead and drag our custom icons right into this section. All right, so that, now that we've got those dragged in, I'm gonna actually des deselect these other ones that are already selected, just because we don't want those in there. Let's keep these in here. So now that we have the bike icon titled, let's go ahead and download this web font. So go ahead and click that. We've got that downloaded there. And we can just click and drag this right here and refresh the page. So we have all of our bike icons. So let's go ahead and edit with Elementor. And now we can go ahead and add the icon. Let's use an icon box this time. And we want to scroll all the way to the top and you see that we have our bikes right here. And remember where I showed you the name for this bicycle? That's where it's showing up here. So if you want to go ahead and change the name of that just for aesthetics, Go ahead and do that, it won't affect anything. So we have this bike right here. If we also type in bike, it'll pull up all of the bikes that we just included. So as you can see, there's no bike icon in Font Awesome. But now that we have this plugin that can upload these icons, we can go ahead and do so. So there we go, we have a custom icon right there. Once you go ahead and update that, view it on the front end, it looks great. Everything is customizable for color and size and spacing, just like a normal Elementor icon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, and turn the notification bell on to get notifications of videos that we produce in the future. And we will see you guys at the next one.